Hey there Taurus, this is Renee and welcome back. Taurus, this is going to be your next 48 hours, what you can expect, what's coming forward, what's about to unfold for you the next 48 hours. Okay, let's get into it. Okay, we have the King of Wands, the Seven of Wands, we have the Queen of Cups, and the Four of Wands. Wow. Okay. At the bottom, we have the Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords, she's very interesting because I feel like she's looking for answers. She's looking for some kind of understanding, some kind of feeling of being understood. And what's very in interesting about the Queen of Swords is she's facing the future. She's not even looking towards the past. Okay? She's only accepting answers that deal with her future situations. And I feel like that's very important for you, Taurus, because I feel like there's some kind of need to turn your back on the past. Okay? And just find answers for your future. Get an understanding for what's happening for future events, not for past. Okay? So I feel like with this energy, the King of Wands, the King of Wands, he's wearing this cloak covered with chameleons and he also has a chameleon in his hand. So I feel like at this moment, Taurus, I feel like, you know, you are passionately adapting to some sort of situation. There may be competition. There may be some kind of chaos going on around you. But I feel like you are sitting without being moved. Okay, I feel like you have this calmness because you feel some kind of support, some kind of stability. You're not being moved by your emotions like, you know, these people in this seven of wands situation, all this chaos and fighting. So there may be some kind of chaos or conflict that's around you. But I feel like, Taurus, you're not moved. You're stable. You're not looking for someone else to bring you happiness. You're looking to find that happiness on your own. And I feel like, you know, you had to fight very hard for something. But you gained it. You've got your reward. Okay, you, you may have just graduated or you may have just went through some kind of celebration, getting your first job, getting a great job, getting a promotion, finding a career. You know, I feel like you fought and jumped through these hurdles, had to adapt to your situation to find your happiness. Okay, so that is very very beautiful energy for you, Taurus, because I feel like, you know, not only are you a fighter, but you are an achiever. Okay, I feel like now, since these goals are achieved, you're working on your next goal, on what your next achievement will be. Okay. Okay, we have the Ten of Wands. The world card. Wow. And the will of fortune. At the bottom we have the five of pentacles. Okay. So I feel like there's something that maybe you thought that you was not going to finish. There's something that you had a lack of confidence of doing. Maybe you had a lack of funding. A lack of finances. To maybe start some kind of situation. 
that you were really working on or maybe you didn't have enough money for school maybe you had you know bills that you had to pay some kind of debt that was holding you back but i feel like you're finding a way to release these burdens you're finding a way to put down all of these extra things that you know that you can't handle and now you've kept this one burden this one priority that you are working on maybe you were working on too many things at once taurus and you decided to just run with this one opportunity okay but i feel like you know you're completing this you're moving through this cycle this cycle is done these lessons are learned you've made this achievement this goal Okay, so now you're ready to start some kind of new adventure. And I feel like because of this completion, I feel like huge changes are now turning in your favor. Huge changes are now being made. Your luck is changing. Okay, and I feel like this is good luck. This is good fortune. So this is... very exciting for you Taurus this is a very exciting time and if you don't see that I feel like you will see that within the next 48 hours this reading is timeless so whenever you see this reading is when you're meant to receive it okay give me more of a message for Taurus Okay, we have the Queen of Swords again. Hmm. And we have the Ace of Swords. Beautiful. We also have the Eight of Swords. Now, with this Eight of Swords, this is the After Tarot. So, in this After Tarot, I feel like, you know, she's being blocked, binded. You know, surrounded by these swords. These swords represent lessons or challenges that you've had to go through. Challenges that may be surrounding you. Um, obstacles that need to be defeated. Okay? But in the after tarot, she has help. You know, no longer is she binded because he's cutting her loose. He's setting her free. So I feel like there's someone in your life that is setting you free from the things that were holding you back. Okay, this may be someone very close to you. This may be even your spiritual guides telling you and uplifting you to let you know that you have the ability to do whatever it is you set your mind to. So you do not have to be imprisoned by these swords you can be free okay and i feel like that's where this message is leading for you taurus because this queen of swords like i said she's looking for understanding but she has her back towards the past she's only thinking about the future and now look at this you have the ace of swords which is a gift of knowledge, a gift of wisdom, some kind of thought-provoking idea that you're being gifted, that's pushing you through this breakthrough. You know, this is a breakthrough. This is you having understanding on where it is you are going and what you are intended to do. Okay, so I feel like it's all becoming so very clear to you, Taurus. I feel like if you were confused, I feel like there's a lot of understanding coming your way. There's a lot of things that you're fully understanding that maybe you didn't understand in the beginning. Okay, so this is really good, beautiful energy. Okay, give me a message. Clarify this message for Taurus, please. Give me more of a message. 
tell me more, please. Okay. Okay, we have the chariot. You're moving into a new place, a new destination. I, I feel like you're going to receive some kind of communication that you're looking forward to. Something is going to be better understood. Some kind of situation. You could be literally moving. But I feel like, you know, you're moving towards a different path. Something that may be unexpected, but I feel like you're taking this action, this inspired action towards something that you want to achieve, okay? You could also be traveling at the moment. You could also be flying, okay? Very interesting um, message because both of these cards can represent travel. So you may be traveling to some kind of destination or moving to some kind of destination very soon. You know, you may be preparing for it already. Okay. And we have the seven of no excuse me the six of pentacles okay so i feel like along the way along your journey you're going to have the gift of someone providing you you with help someone offering you a cup of kindness some kind of generosity some kind of gift is going to help you along your way there's someone who wants to offer you that kindness, that guidance, you know, along your path. And I feel like, you know, you're accepting this very graciously. You're accepting the gift. You're getting moving on whatever this is that you need to move towards. You're being assertive. You know, the Queen of Wands is very fiery. She's very self-confident. You know, there's a spark within her. She's very confident of her abilities. She's also very attractive, very assertive, very, you know, um, she's a go-getter. You know, she doesn't wait for action to happen. She creates the action. Okay, so I feel like that's something that's very important for you, Taurus, is to know that you can be the one to create the action. Okay, so let's get a message for Taurus. What's going on for Taurus? Sun, moon, and rising the next 48 hours. Okay, we have a lot of change here, and we do have a lot of change. We see the, the world card, the will of fortune, the ace of swords, which is a new beginning, new ideas, okay? Some kind of new breakthrough. We also have the four of wands. Now, some people don't see the four of wands as change, but the four of wands is change. It's reason for celebration, a change in circumstances, more happiness, more abundance, Okay, so it is truly change. And I understand that nothing can grow or evolve without movement. So yes, there is some sort of change coming forward for you, Taurus. We, always have, we also have gratitude. I am thankful for this life and for the opportunities that it presents. So I think Spirit is letting you know to be grateful for your circumstances. I feel like a lot of change and good fortune is coming your way, uh, Taurus. You are going to have an abundance of change happening for you. And I feel like it's very supported. It's taking you into this happy celebrating time. Okay? You are good enough. 
you have all the abilities you need to succeed. Okay? And be bold and make the first move. Very important. And I feel like you're going to be very assertive. I see you moving, Taurus. You may say to yourself, I'm not moving. I, you know, I'm stable where I am. But I see you moving. Okay? My happiness is a direct reflection of my level of faith in the universe. And I feel like your happiness is truly going to overflow with the situation. The more energy and intention I bring into my faith, the more fearless and free I am. So Spirit is letting you know to be more faithful in what this is that you want. You know, have more faith in your situation. Have more faith in yourself. I feel like there may be an underlying uh, sense of you not having enough skill or you not being enough to go get whatever this is that you want. But you are enough, Taurus. You have all of the ability. Okay? So we have new moon in Sagittarius. Focus on the positive. Okay, stay positive in your situation. I feel like that's in, very important. We also have a full moon in Gemini. Embrace the flow of life. Sometimes when things are unfolding, we just have to follow the intuition. Follow the guidance of the universe. And just go with the flow of whatever direction that the universe is leading us. Okay, you just have to trust in the process. Okay, okay, let's take a look at love for Taurus. We haven't really seen a whole lot of love in this reading, but I want to go ahead and get a reading for Taurus. What's going on in Taurus's love life? What's happening? What can they expect the next 48 hours? Okay, we have seduction. Ooh. Attraction, flirting, dating, hooking up, temptation, third party interference. So there may be someone that you're hooking up with, maybe as some kind of social event, maybe as some kind of gathering. Um, but I feel like, you know, there, there's someone who has their eye on you, Taurus. There's someone who sees you as very attractive. And you know, wants to spend more time with you. Okay? We also have sunglasses. Someone's watching you. Someone may be looking at your social media. Someone may be, you know, seeing where you are at in your life at the moment. I feel like they're very curious. They want to know more about what's going on with Taurus. Okay? And we also have photographs. Someone's missing you. Someone's looking at your photos together and someone's reminiscing about some kind of memories that you may have. Some kind of time that you spent together. So I feel like there's several different, or this could be one person. This one person that's looking at you that's really reminiscing about you, that's missing you. Maybe this is the one that you're going to hook up with. Maybe this is the one that you're going to be intended to spend your time with. Okay, so Taurus, this is what I have for you. So if this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And take a look at your Sun, Moon, and Rising. I have all of the March readings in a playlist. So if you want to take a look at those readings, take a look at your sun, moon, rising, and Venus. That will give you more messages that will maybe give you more of an understanding on what's going on. Okay? And until your next reading, 
Taurus. Many blessings to you. Love and light.